My name is Tyrone Nagesh. I'm Associate Curator of Asian Art at the Queensland Art Gallery, Gallery of Modern Art. APTH shows over 80 artists coming from 32 different countries. It presents a wealth of ideas to teach us about other people, places, our beliefs, interests and the way people are making art today. There's a great diversity of things to experience and to learn about. Some of the things that the works in the exhibition can teach us is about other people's cultures and the surroundings in which they live, as well as the questions that they draw from these ideas. Korean artist Tae Gyu Yang uses blinds, objects that you see in homes all around the world. But she removes these and arranges them in a particular way to create a new context and a new experience. Indian artist Asim Waqif is very interested in architecture and the design of our urban spaces. He uses the same materials that are used to build houses in Queensland, but deconstructs them to create a new kind of space that you can navigate and inhabit. Noman Bold is a Mongolian artist, and he creates paintings in a traditional form of Mongolian painting, but uses a unique and contemporary style. In his paintings, you can see an image of a Buddha, a very traditional subject in this form of painting, alongside images of the city in which he lives. So he is taking something very traditional and spiritual from his culture and showing it alongside something that is very modern and part of his everyday experience. Nye Le is an artist from Myanmar. She has reconstructed the entire year one classroom of a school in a small village from Myanmar. She wanted to do this to represent the environment and community of a village where she has family and somewhere she is very close to but also to show the poor conditions in the education system of her home country, to express some of the problems that society faces in Myanmar today. Yumi Dunnis, or We Dance, is a project that looks at performance from countries throughout Melanesia, including Papua New Guinea, West Papua, New Caledonia, the Solomon Islands, Vanuatu and Fiji. It shows how performance like dance and music can be an important part of cultural identity and connect people between different cultural groups. Anita Yu Ali is an artist from Cambodia. She is part of a Muslim community in a country that is primarily Buddhist and she also had to leave Cambodia during the war many years ago and has only recently returned. She wears a strange bug costume to represent how her own identity can be viewed as something different or as an outsider as she is from a different religion than most people in her country and has been away from the country for so long. Chitraka means picture makers. The Chitraka community are artists from a particular area in India who create long scrolls to tell stories. These scrolls would be rolled up and the artists would travel from village to village with them. They would unroll a small section and sing a song to tell a story, slowly unrolling another section so the story continues. These used to tell ancient stories and teach people about the Hindu religion. But today, the storytellers and singers often talk about contemporary events that happen around the world. Brooke Andrew is an Australian artist and an Indigenous man of the Wiradjuri people. He is interested in perceptions of identity through history, media and consumerism, particularly in regards to race and Indigenous history. He uses materials often sourced from archives and museums and questions why these have been collected and how they have been contextualised. In the Queensland Art Gallery, he has painted the Wiradjuri design over the walls of a gallery showing Australian art. This asks the question of whether Australian art history is represented from an Indigenous or non-Indigenous perspective. And it also implies asking questions of the interpretation of places and history. APT8 is so rich in ideas and artistic practices evolving out of different places and under different circumstances. I hope you're challenged and inspired and your curiosity is sparked to learn more about the region in which we live. But it's important that you connect with artworks. Each of us will relate differently to particular artworks, so I think it's fantastic if we find personal connections. Whether it's through the aesthetics, an idea explored in one of the works, or whether it's a spiritual, political, social or historic aspect represented. If you're encouraged to think differently or to investigate further, you're taking something positive and ongoing away from APT8.